Hi, this is Dean from Sentinel Candles. Today I'm going to do a small test just to show some people what rubbing alcohol can actually do and what it actually is designed for with melt and pour. So we've got some uh, rubbing alcohol here on the table in the green bottle. This is the Australian one that I buy, 345 mils. So it's a small bottle. Uh, you can get these from your local chemist. And I put it into a, a tiny little spritz bottle like this Basically, I can use this with my melt and pour. So in today's test, I've got 200 grams of goat's milk soap and another 200 grams of goat's milk soap. The first one that I'm going to melt down, I'm going to put in two cavities, and that is going to be the bottom. I'm then going to let them set to a point where I would spray the rubbing alcohol. I'm then going to put cardboard over one and spray one and leave the other one unsprayed. So when I go to melt down the second lot and pour it on top, one will have rubbing alcohol and one won't. So let's get started. So another thing rubbing alcohol is really good for is mixing micas or actually making a mica from a powder like this into a liquid. So if I just spray with my rubbing alcohol into a tiny little cup like this, just a couple of drops, depending on how much um, mica I'm gonna be using, and then I'm just going to grab my mica and a little tiny knife so I can pick out the amount that I want. And then I'm going to tip that into the uh, rubbing alcohol. Grab a bamboo stick and just mix it all around. Now I have liquid mica and that won't affect the soap at all. Okay, so I've melted down 200 grams of goat's milk. And I'm going to pour this in two cavities. This doesn't have any fragrance, no color, no nothing. It's just straightforward goat's milk soap. I'm going to wait for that to set. And then I'm going to spray one and not the other. And then I'm going to pour the second part on top of it, which is going to be with the blue mica uh, that I made previously. Once that sets in a few hours, then I'll show you the difference between using rubbing alcohol and not using it. So here we go. Okay, so I'm going to spray rubbing alcohol on these now, um, just to pop the bubbles. Now that's pretty normal. Um, you don't want air bubbles on top of your soap, ever. So once you've poured, spray, even if you're not going to pour another layer on top of it. So I'll be back in a minute to pour the second part, which will be blue, on top of this. Okay, so I've made up my blue. This is goat's milk blue, so I'm going to pour this on top. But before I do that, I'm only going to spray one of these with rubbing alcohol. And it's going to be this one here. So I just get my bottle of rubbing alcohol and I just spray it so the other one's not wet at all. Now I'm not going to spray. I normally spray um, this so I get rid of all the bubbles in here. But for this example, I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to pour this in. Sorry about that, battery ran out of the camera. I wasn't able to pour it in time. So this one's got rubbing alcohol and this one doesn't. So once that goes hard in uh, probably a couple of hours. Okay, so now we've got our soaps out of the mold. Well, the one at the bottom of the screen is the one with rubbing alcohol and the one on the top of the screen is the one without. Now the only way to really test this because they look very good, although I can feel that connection there where that connection I can't feel. So there's definitely a, um, a layer difference that I can feel on that going right around. So the only way to really test this is to cut it in half and see what happens on the inside. Because that's what's going to happen. When you make a loaf, you go to cut the soap and then the bits fall off. So we're going to cut this one in half and see what happens. Okay, so you can sort of see that that's sliding apart, and there we go. Now, I didn't have to pull hard to do that. That just sort of fell apart, and that's what's going to happen in the, in, in the bath or the shower or wherever the soap is. But with this one, there's quite a strong connection because of the rubbing alcohol. So we just cut that in half again, and I can't get that... They're pretty much joined together. 
I mean, I'm pushing on that. And they're not, it's not budging. So the rubbing alcohol has definitely done its job. <clears throat> oh my God, that's... I can't, I can't push that apart. So the rubbing alcohol has definitely made these ones a lot stronger. So there you have it. Rubbing alcohol, good layers, good connection, won't come apart. No rubbing alcohol, came apart. So rubbing alcohol is definitely a thumbs up for me. Without it, I couldn't make layers. Thanks for watching.